Hey, what's up guys? Chris Craze here and welcome to the YouTube channel if this is your first video that you're logging in with. And today's video on our success series is part two of questions entrepreneurs ask prior to starting a new business, as you can see right here on the screen. So in part one, we talked about what are the motives for starting a business. If you didn't see that video, check back and watch that. Definitely some good information. Today's video, part two, is gonna be what current responsibilities are gonna be displaced when you start your new business? So you have your life going, you have everything going on in your life. When you wanna start something new, you may not think of this, but you're gonna be focusing on that. You only have so much focus in the day. So when you start focusing on something new, some of your responsibilities that you currently have, whether it's work, personal life, anything at home, regardless what it is, some of your hobbies, those are gonna be displaced. You gotta make time and you gotta make room for this new venture that you're gonna be going into. Now, I will be the first to tell you this, it can be addicting. You wanna have focus and you wanna get tunnel vision on it, but don't forget what's going on around you. The reason being is sometimes you can get tunnel vision so much so that you forget everything else you start getting people getting mad at you because you're not spending time with them. Or more importantly, you start focusing too much on this new venture and you haven't planned to do that. And that'll subsequently start affecting your current work life, probably travel, anything else around that. So these are things that you wanna take into consideration when starting this new venture. Because as with any new venture, any new business, it's gonna take time. A lot of these things are gonna be front loaded up front. You're gonna to have to learn new information. You're gonna to have to learn new systems. You're gonna to have to meet new people and learn new about new businesses that are gonna help your business and more on that later. But all of this requires a learning curve. It requires more time, more money, and more commitment. Now, when you're committing to this, you're not gonna be committing to something else. So if you have a ton of free time, and this may be self-explanatory, if you have a ton of free time, then this is gonna be time that you can devote towards your new business. But if you don't, this is something that you need to plan accordingly. Are you able to do this new business in your afternoon hours? Let's say evening. Evenings are the only thing most people have available if they're working a general nine to five job. And I say nine to five, that can be across the board, eight to six, uh, 12 to nine, you get the point here. So are you able to do this after work? Now, key point here, and actually, I've seen people do this, I've told people about this and they've exercised this. Hypothetical, but actual, a real security job. You do night shift, you're not really doing much, you're doing your security work. You're able to do other things while you do security work. Now I'm not telling you to go do that, but you're being smart here and you're able to work on your new business during the working hours of your other business. Again, make sure that the company allows that and as long as it doesn't take away from the initial job that you're doing, why not? I've had people go through college before uh, half of their classes during their overnight security work, during their overnight desk work, working at hotels, things like that. Now make sure you follow the rules, but just to kind of give you some insight and think outside the box here. So that's something that you want to make sure that you plan in advance. That is, what are your current responsibilities and how are those going to be affected? So part three, is going to be, am I prepared for potential failure? That's coming up next. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, share, like button. You know the routine. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. If you have any struggles with this, please put those in the comments. Your struggles could be the same as somebody else's, but you just don't know that until you voice those. Get out of your head and put those down there. Chris Craze, until next video.